Combat is your art, and mastering the medium is essential to becoming an Absolver. Upon arriving in Adal, all prospects have a core combat style and an initial combat deck. On their path to absolution, prospects will learn new possibilities and mix them to create their own unique method of fighting. One of three combat styles are chosen at the beginning of your journey, but other styles exist in the world of Absolver. Each combat style improves specific character attributes and comes with its own unique special ability. Balanced and powerful, with the Forsaken style, prospects can parry enemy attacks, briefly stunning their opponent. Strong and resistant, practitioners of the cult method can absorb hits without being stunned or pushed back and regain lost health if the counter-attack is successful. The students of the Windfall combat style will have greater dexterity and will. They can avoid enemy attacks, leaving the enemies open to a powerful counter. The combat deck is the list of attacks that a prospect can use when fighting. These attacks are divided between four different stances, which represent the prospect's orientation relative to their target. In each stance, different attacks are available. Some attacks will naturally flow from one stance to another. Other attacks will stay in the same stance. Regardless, each move will always chain fluidly with one another, effortlessly shifting from stance to stance without interruption. The combat deck is fully customizable, allowing one to define their way of fighting and become unpredictable. In each of the four stances, prospects will choose a sequence of attacks and an alternative attack. Alternative attacks can be used at any time to break a sequence and bring the prospect in another stance. Both sequences and alternative attacks can be chained fluidly without interruption. To give more possibilities, new attacks can be unlocked by fighting against any kind of opponent, from the newest prospect to the strongest absolver. Besides this, Prospects can learn other combat styles by choosing a mentor and staying loyal to him or her. Prospects can choose mentors as they meet in the world. Through their loyalty, prospects can learn additional combat styles and use their mentor's combat deck. Steal yourself, dear prospect. Combat instincts may come natural, but refining your combat style and combat deck is key to both basic survival and victory in the lost lands of Adal. Game with a focus on a very unique but accessible melee combat system. So the combat in Absolver is inspired by actual martial arts. And we wanted to create a system that was deep but accessible and in which players could create their own custom combat choreographies. What we're seeing here is a tutorial is a tutorial map in the game. It's so it's very really early stage. The player has not been matchmade with other players yet. The main part of the game is set in a small open world that is made of a dozen internet interconnected zones that the players can explore freely and in which he is he or she is matchmade with other players seamlessly. So as you explore the world, you will get to meet other people and build relationships with them. You can make friends, enemies, you can find mentors or students. A variety of relationships exist. And as we see here, sometimes you'll be walking in the world and suddenly somebody else is there. This, however, is a, is a single player tutorial because it's there to teach the player the basic game mechanics. So we wanted to do um, a combat system 
that is pretty accessible, so it's easy to pick up and play. Uh, it's a 3D real-time real -time combat system. But we added enough layers of depth, as we'll see, to have an actual competitive PvP experience. Because the end game of Absolver is becoming the best Absolver and fighting other others like you in PvP. So here we see that the special defense of that character. Uh, in Absolver, every player can choose a combat style, and each style has a different special ability. The combat style, this combat style, has the parry ability, so the character is about to parry, is able to parry attacks if he does it in the right timing, which I kind of messed up here, uh, but we'll see it a bit later on. So that's one mechanic. Another which we saw earlier is what we call perfect attacks. So when you nail your attacks, your successive attacks in the right timing, the character will flash golden, which makes the attack chain faster and stun the enemy a bit longer. So that's what we're seeing here. It's really an incentive to, to be in the flow of combat. Another game mechanic we're seeing here is the phase, which is cancelling the build-up of an attack to trick your opponent into doing a feint. So that's this black ghost we can see at times. So this is especially useful against human opponents. If you feint, you get into this high-level mind game, kind of tricking your opponent into do doing a dodge or a parry. And that allows you to follow up really quickly with another attack while your enemy is recovering. So that's um, once you kind of get to know the attacks of your opponent, that is something that is very important to um, to tackle. So now we're going to see something that is really the core of Absolver, which is the stances and the combat deck edition. The idea is in Absolver you have four different stances uh, represented by uh, this diamond. In each stance you have a sequence of up to three attacks, which, which you see on top, an alternative attack, which you see down. The idea is that every stance starts in one stance and goes into another one. So for instance, here we're going to make a sequence of attack that starts front left and that finishes front left. We can go into training mode. I'm going to see that if I chain these moves and I keep attacking, they loop on themselves. But I could go ahead and change that and, and decide that one stance actually goes to a different stance. Here, my two front stances both loop on themselves. But the idea is that any attack always chains smoothly with the attacks that follow. So everything is everything is fluid, everything is dynamic, and the action basically never stops. The same system works with weapons, so the player can pull out weapons as temporary bonuses. And when you take out a weapon, it's just a whole different combat deck that is now accessible to you. Weapons do more damages, so but they can be temporarily disarmed. They can bonuses you can get disarmed as we just saw here. So pulling a weapon in combat uh, usually gives an advantage to the player, but can also be dangerous if your enemy gets very offensive, disarms you, and picks up your weapon. So now we're going to see another part of um, the game, which is a bit later. We were changing characters and we're going to focus now on the attack learning system, which is the core of how you will create your characters in Absolver. So in Absolver, as you explore the game world, you'll meet other enemies, whether they're NPCs or players. And when you fight somebody, whether it's an NPC or player, they attack you with an attack that you don't know, and you'll learn that attack aggressively which is what we're seeing here. Here I'm using the Absorb ability, which allows me to avoid being stunned or pushed back by an attack, and that allows me to counterattack right away. So I do receive damages, but if I counterattack, my damages are mitigated. And if, when I absorb, when I use my special ability on, a, on an attack, I'm going to learn it faster. So here I see that I've 
learn a bit out of six attacks and as you fight different enemies you will progressively learn more and more attacks and what you want to do is sometimes you don't want to beat an NPC right away but rather try and use your special ability tactically on that NPC in order to learn their moves better another mechanic this ties on is a social relationship with your mentor students so what you can do when you meet another another player is ask them to become your mentor that way that player will be able to teach you their combat style and you'll be able to learn attacks faster than you would by fighting regular enemies Here I'm trying to absorb the enemy's attack, not to kill it right away. There we go. I've learned some of three different attacks. Now this character here seems a bit more dangerous, so I guess I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be careful in the early stages of combat. Valid tactic is to kind of get to know the moves of your, your opponent. And that way you'll be able to counter the opponent more efficiently. This enemy has a combat style that has avoid a special ability. So the, my enemy can sidestep, duck under my attacks, he cannot parry up or, or absorb, but he can certainly make these very short and, and fluid avoidance moves that allows them to follow up really fast and attack me. Every time my attack is a bit too predictable, the enemy uh, ducks under it. So I've got to be careful here, maybe get some feints in, in order to get the edge in combat. Here I'm taking another stand, my back stand, I know that I have a low attack that allows me to beat that enemy. The enemy hasn't picked up my sword, so I can go, go ahead and pick up that sword. My health is pretty low, so I'm going to heal up and keep on exploring that zone. So we're not going to show too much of that zone here, but we want before we jump to PvP, we wanted to show a bit of the customization system of Absolver. The general principle is that every gear, every piece of equipment, and we've got nine different equipment categories in Absolver, every piece of equipment has specific par parameters of weight and protection. And so you're kind of making that trade-off between a weight that slows you down and protects you, protection that uh, that gives you mitigates damages, and sometimes uh, gear protects you better against blunt damage. Sometimes gear protects you better against cut damage, which is typically the damage that you players get from weapons. So you're making these trade-offs as you equip, and all these equipment categories are fully compatible. So you're making gameplay choices as well as aesthetic choice because the look of your character pretty much determines how others will perceive you and so it's um, important in an online game to kind of create your persona and show others what your character represents. Okay, so now what we're going to see is some player versus player combat. What's important to note is that two forms of PvP combat in the game. Either what we're seeing here, which is players match made together in the world, and these players have decided to fight, but these players could actually have teamed up and, uh, and go on into co-op PvE instead of fighting. But they chose to fight, and so here they are fighting. So we're going to see different moments of a vari variety of fights and look at the tactics involved so this was this was an earthquake tower what we can see are the the floating shards in the back of the characters allow them to use special weapons and powers so you need shards to put out your weapon but you can also use the shard to create a shockwave or other thing So when, when confronted with an enemy who is a weapon, the good tactic is to be very offensive in order to try and disarm him, but that's not always possible. So we have two categories of weapons. This here are the war gloves. The character can change on the fly between war gloves and swords. And as you can see, 
he can also get disarmed again, and my opponent can pick up his weapon. As we saw previously, it's very important to stay focused and keep these perfect attacks that make your character flesh golden, because that's how you get faster edge in combat. Even though the moves that can be placed in the combat deck all belong to different combat styles, characters can choose to put in their combat deck moves of any style. So you can create something which is a mixed, a mixed style based on different attacks. Some attacks also have different properties. These attacks that are you blue can absorb attacks, some attacks can avoid, some attacks can interrupt. That was a nice parry done here, followed by a guard break attack. This is a guard break attack again. We see the character's hand flashing red, and he has done Picked up his war gloves, absorbing a few attacks, and then jumping right in. But the other enemy has pulled out a weapon, and so the odds have shifted again. This is a Moonpike sword, it's a very fragile sword, so it can break pretty easily, but it inflicts heavy cut damage. But the opponent has pushed me back with a shockwave. Here we see a good use of the absorb power. Sometimes the fight takes place uh, near cliffs or precipice. And this creates a combat modifier because you, you cannot dodge in that direction. Some PvP max exclusively focus on dangerous environments in which players may fall. That was a weapon break, followed up by a big absorb haymaker punch. That finishes up the enemy. So even if an enemy is dominating, here, if with a succession of absorbs, you can always chain your attacks faster, and if the enemy makes just one mistake, um, you can always uh, follow up and pick up in combat. The altar here is red because characters cannot interact with an altar when a fight is going on. And there we go. Weapon is picked up. Now the have shifted. It's very important to be able to use your special ability in the right timing. This is a move inspired by Capoeira. It's a very powerful kick. He pushes me away. So this will finish it that way. So what we see here are combats that take place in the worlds. But as mentioned previously, fun combat take place into dedicated PvP arenas. So, from the game world, the player will be able to access special PvP game modes. So there is of course the one versus one duel, which currently is, is a best of five mechanic, but there is also three versus three game modes. And this concludes our demo. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's it's uh, it's really <laughs> I'm just cool. it's really nice. this out. Well, actually, you know, there's questions. stuff like you know going into co-op, making enemies. Some dudes are gonna attack you. It's more like Eventually, boring. you'll be able to trade. You can I can actually walk up to you right. and ask you to become my mentor because really? I know that I see that you know kung fu and I don't. So you're gonna be able to teach me kung fu, teach me your moves. So. The mentor-student is one of the main relationships we have in the game. But how do they teach the moves to each other? Yeah, no kidding. That's a, well, the, basically, when you fight, um, it all feeds in our combat deck mechanic, which we'll see a bit later on. When you fight an enemy and they attack you with an attack that you haven't discovered yet, that you don't know yet, you're going to learn it progressively. And so, if I like parry that attack, you see that little icon uh, with, the, yeah. uh, with the attack that's being played? It means I don't know that attack and I'm learning it. And um, so eventually you learn these attacks and you're able to use them in what we call the combat deck, which is an interface that's used to create your combos. 
And when you have a mentor, they can teach you much faster these attacks, attacks that they know. And they it's also the only way. You start with a specific combat style. That combat style here is the, what we call Windfall. It's like Kung Fu inspired. It's got a special ability, which is the avoid. And... Um, and but you, so you start with a combat style. If you want to learn other ones, you need a mentor. So that what we're seeing here is a, a mechanic that we call perfect attacks. Basically, it's really important in the game to chain attacks in the right timing. So if you attack at the right moment, if you're in the flow, you'll chain attacks faster. It's a bit kind of like the active reload mechanic in Gears of War, and it's always there in combat. So you really need to stay focused, even if the action is intense, basically. And you gotta you gotta pay attention because you do have a stamina bar. Yeah. So the stamina bar is kind of uh, the is both your stamina for attacks, for dodges, for special moves, and your guard your guard gauge. So when you're out of stamina, your guard is gonna be broken pretty fast. So we just we just saw, saw here the special ability of that combat style, which is the avoid. Uh, so you can avoid low, you can duck under high attacks, jump over low attacks, and sidestep over a vertical or thrust attack. So you really have to read the direction of the attack of your opponent to kind of um, use your special defense and, um, and gain the upper edge. Because uh, when you successfully avoid, it'll slow down your opponent. So we're just opening up a little shortcut here so that if ever we die, we can... Go back there fast. So uh, before, when you're when they were fighting, the, there was a little icon showing like a kick and like that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, that means that you're learning that attack. That okay. means that your enemy has hit you with attack that you haven't fully learned yet. Oh, there yeah. we go. And so when there's just a little plus, it means you've dis just discovered it. And once you've discovered it, you'll see that little gauge filling up on the on the around the circle. It means you're learning it. Okay, okay. And if you like successfully parry an attack, you'll learn more of it than if you just get hit by it. Right, okay. So you can just sit there and get punched in the face a few times. Like, but it takes longer, but you'll yeah. eventually go, oh, punch in the face yeah. move. I and got it. Actually, when you're fighting, <laughs> it applies for both NPCs and other players you meet. And when you fight NPCs in the world, you know, you don't want to just beat him up. You want to get these parries and get this special ability in so that you learn their attacks, you know, faster. Uh, when you see someone, when you come upon someone in the world, there's there's no indic what there's no indication of who they are and what they know, right? E well, this is we're actually working on the so whole social wheel aspect okay. and what level of information we're giving you as to what the level of this guy is, okay. you know, what maybe what his uh, what uh, he what progression, you know, you there's an RPG progression system in the game, and so you invest point in different stats, which impact your basically your playstyle. Um, so actually, so this is this is a build that's currently at, at playable at PAX, um, and this is what we call an altar. It's a place where you can meditate to improve your stats and build your combat deck. We are, however, going to see the combat deck in a while. So the basic of the combat is what we're seeing here. So that little diamond is the um, is our stances system. So you've got four stances to choose from, and depending on the stance you z you're in, you've got different attacks that are mapped to each stance and which you can customize in the combat deck. We'll okay. see that in a second. So you can do you can do stances that are like like super like da -da 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 -da, yeah, and or stances that are just like exactly. You can Sweet. do heavy okay. stances, light stances. Or you can do stances that loop on themselves, or stances that... An element of stance dancing that you can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, very much so. And okay. we actually have, like, these sweet little animations that when you switch stances, it's like... And you actually, you know... It's so kind of fluid. Like yeah, well, the whole system is basically a stance is your orientation relatively to your opponent. So when you chain your attacks in your combat deck, the stances all match. Each attack starts in one stance, finishes in one stance. So basically... All the moves you do always match the orientation of your previous move, so it all chains basically together pretty, pretty fluidly. Yeah, and the, we're gonna see that in a second. So, no, it's really cool to see them change stances and to do like the. It's really flowy. You yeah. know, it's it's <laughs> it, and then the, this. Why are you laughing? That guy fell down. Oh, a hole. you're laughing at that? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no I that guy up. fell down. He, he fell. fell down a hole. My <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> miner's guy got holes in it. <laughs> Slapstick comedy always works with uh, GR. I am simple. Does GM any of them do drunken monkey style? 
That's an excellent question. Okay. Yeah. That's, nice that's question. an excellent question. Yeah, it's an excellent question. <laughs> oh. Do you want to bring the drunk monkey back now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drunk, drunk, the monkey. Oh, he, he's drunk now? Oh, man. <laughs> Life is hard for yeah. that red gorilla. Poor red gorilla. Dude. Yeah, we'll see about uh, monkeys and about uh, drunkenness. <laughs> but, uh, is that going to be a DLC? We'll, we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see that. It's so pretty. This guy's just, he's just backed into a corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, How would you have fought? If so you were the guy in the corner, what would you have done? Being you're an expert game developer creator, you don't want to get back in a cor in the corner. So what you want to do is dodging on the side and always kind of manage the space around you. Do you watch a lot of UFC to get ideas for this? Uh, you know what? Our animators they watch a lot of different martial arts. They all practice. It's right. a, they, they all oldest, wait. They all practice. No, all this okay, is key okay. fame, and actually all our animators have between like. Uh, Eight and twelve years of martial arts experience. Damn, really? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. If they we can, go to the absolver yeah. booth, yeah, and we're like, start a fight. I'm just like, I hate this game. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, gonna start like, doing what? this, yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna go, that's not real. <laughs> that's from a video game, and then you're going down. No, no, and so everything is keyframe. They watch a lot of references, um, and you know, some of which are come from. What's, uh, what's the quickest arts novice move you could show me right now quickest with one what? hand? <laughs> Fastest one hand takedown. You mean, can I kill JM? Yeah, with how my can thumb? you kill JM right it's now? With well, one I, I, you know, I'll go for the That's, throat dude, right away. Yeah, right I knew away. exactly yeah. what he was chop. doing. Yeah. One yep. chop. Yeah, I think the throat's. No, me, yeah. mine's two moves. It's. Pocket oh. pepper spray. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, that's my move, move right there. there. <laughs> Turn around, run, run away. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was your move. No, Wait, so, talking about so actually, this, this, is, this is what we were mentioning earlier, which is the combat deck. So basically, all the we're kind of you know speeding through speeding through it. But all attacks <laughs> have different, uh, you know, damage, speed, range, tracking properties, and some of them have actually special properties. They can guard break, they can avoid. So you really like kind of build your own playstyle in that interface. And so you're making your own combos? Uh -huh. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Pretty much. That's now that uh, uh, of anything that you mentioned so far, that is pretty badass. Like, because usually you buy combos. Like now you can do the spin kick punch move. No, no. But you, now you're like you spin kick if you like the punch, or you could do throat chop or like exactly. that stuff. And here we're in PvP, so we've got so it's a bit so more advanced character. <laughs> yeah, you can pull out weapons. We've got two weapons families at this stage: war gloves and swords. They're like temporary bonuses in combat. You can use them. You see these little glowing stones? We call them tension shards. You got five. This guy has a Whoa. like kind of a magic focus build, so he's got five of them, and he can use them. In the bottom left, you've got special abilities and weapons, and he can use these special shards, which fill up during combat for special abilities to take out weapons, etc. But his enemy actually right uh, here was chaining, uh, chaining these attacks pretty fast. So, you know, I haven't seen this environment yet. Any of these environments, I haven't really. Seen no, you armor. haven't. I've only seen that first yeah. brown city, you know, that little... Yeah, we've been town. running a closed alpha <laughs> this past week, and this was the closed alpha area. This is amazing. Why, uh, what's the deal with the mask? Why does everybody wear masks? That's, uh, you'll have to play the game. Oh! oh I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, You're I'm getting, sorry. It's eyes I'm wide sorry. shut. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah. A, it's, all, it's a sex cult right. thing. It's, yeah, it's I don't mind surprises. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and the idea is that when you pull a weapon out, you get you switch combat decks. So you switch to a sword combat decks, but it's still the same mechanic. Your attacks go from one stance to the other, flow together, and you still have you know parry, avoid abilities. So it's uh, all yeah. Did that guy and you're controlling. You're controlling. Yeah, you like can get disarmed. You can <gasps> get disarmed, and you, your opponent can actually pick up your sword, which is yeah, what he's doing. <laughs> oh. boom, 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 and I beat you up with you know. It's his so weapon. Uh, the game's beautiful. I, so I you're controlling. Uh, but you start as a prospect, so you haven't been 
accepted mm. in the order. You're a scrub. Yes. You started the scrub. <laughs> yeah. a scrub. And you're going to face a series of trials uh, to ensure that you're worthy of becoming an absolver. Awesome. Okay, well, I know we have some gameplay footage here. Uh, what are we looking at? We're just starting the game from the beginning? Uh, this is, um, we're showing here a quick demo um, of co-op gameplay, exploring the game world and uh, seeing the combat gameplay. So, for the purpose of this demo, we're selecting a pre-customized character, but the players will be able to customize their characters uh, fully with uh, plenty of diff different gears that you'll be looting throughout the game. Absolutely. And when I pit people, I want to be styling. Of, yeah. course, of course. Of course. <laughs> and so now we're just going to pick one uh, pre-customized character and jump in that co-op demo. So cool. That's a three-player kind of co-op we have going. Oh, nice. Uh, we have it at our, we're showing it at E3 here. Oh, great. So people can play this now? Uh, yeah, we have press and media coming out to play. Awesome. Nice. And I mean, the, the one thing that strikes me about this game, uh, like initially, right away, is, is the world and the style. It's like, where did that, where, what was the inspiration for that? Where did that come from? That came from, we wanted to do a game that with uh, realistic uh, body proportions, and, uh, but, you know, this is a fantasy world and we wanted it to take the player out of, out of this world, you know, yeah. somebody somewhere that you've never been before. And so here you see, um, on that bridge here, you see one of the guides. So these, there are this faction that took you to this place mm -hmm. to monitor your progress and decide whether you're worthy of become, becoming an absolver. So you'll be, um, we're fighting in co-op here, so you'll be playing, uh, you can play the game by yourself or with um, co-op partners. And so this is the exploration part of the game. Uh, from which you can access actual game modes such as uh, PvP and PvE game modes. Nice. I see that we're starting out with just fists. Does that mean I need to go collect my weapons you and will kind of upgrade weapons. myself? And actually what you see here is that you see in the distance uh, two people fighting. So as you move in the, the game world, as I was saying, you'll be encountering other players and uh, sometimes they're in the distance like these mm -hmm. and you can't meet up with them. Yeah. But you know, maybe a bit further down the road, you'll be uh, able to join forces with them. I like that you just cool. happen to run into people who are fighting to the death. Like, hey guys, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, trying to be. Just, All right, cool. just passing by. Yeah, it's, cool. it's a tough neighborhood. I'm so, I'm so glad just looking at this, the, 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 you know, just the melee combat is super compelling because in video games, it's, it's how people, like how humans were meant to fight, but we didn't get it right in video games. <laughs> Until right now, it's, like, it's always so infuriating when games do not do punching correctly. Like that's all we've ever been doing, and it's right. never compelling. That's what oh. struck us when we saw it. It was just like this smooth cinematic, like dodging, moving, and he can talk more about it. But this, the, the flow of the combat's amazing. We yeah. certainly have been focusing on getting these punches and kicks in yeah. correctly. You know, you get a real feeling of impact when when your blows connect, and that was important for us. What so goes what into that process for people who don't know what it's like to develop video games, or is there something cool yeah, happening? Yeah, this is a couple of things, uh, game mechanics we want to talk about here, cool. which is um, what we call flowing attacks. So when you're just attacking regularly, you see a green stamina bar in the upper left corner, and there's this little gauge filling up, and you need to actually hit your blows in the correct timing, as you Ooh. see here, and so he turns golden. And so you should, you, in this game, you don't, you shouldn't button mash. You, you, you know, it's all about timing, execution. So even when you're in Real the middle, fighting. Of, in the middle yeah. of a battle under pressure, you, mm. you got to know your attacks, be in the good cool. flow. And because these flowing attacks allow you to atta chain attacks faster, st stun your enemy longer. Here we're seeing a uh, special ability because uh, every character can choose and learn a combat style. There's a variety of styles to choose from. And each style has a special ability. And so here we're seeing the special ability, which is a parry. And so you can execute either parry left or parry right. And uh, that allows you to counter your opponents and mm. stun them and get the advantage. Right. So you got to read the attack, like here, parry left or parry right, and then you can get a couple of attacks in. Yeah, I feel like that's, that really adds complexity to you know a melee combat system is parrying. Because yeah, like you could right. just smash each other in the face with right. fists, exactly. but that's not how real fighting works. You're right. going to but dodge and deflect and, what and turn also the fight around. Adds complexity is <laughs> is that what you're seeing here is uh, you're a, you're able to feint, mm -hmm. and so once your opponent knows your attacks and start parrying each and every one of them, you can actually trigger an attack and cancel it and feint feint your attack. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're hearing here. So she's parrying me, she's parrying me again, and so now I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna feint an attack. Right. And then oh, uh, trick her wow. into parrying or dodging the attack and get, and get another attack in him. I learned that from my older brother. He would just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, stop. That's a 
exactly it. And, like, exactly. The, the, uh, and you're like, oh, <laughs> and, and then you hit them, yes. Exactly. So here you see I've just parried a low, a low attack. So you get the advantage when you start parrying. And am I, uh, right now, fighting against NPCs, or am I fighting other potential players? So this is you with a co-partner, and uh, most of the people you're fighting here are NPCs, but you'll be encountering both NPCs and other players seamlessly as you, as you like when you, in the world. When you come up to a character, at first you're not necessarily sure if it was mm. yeah. a, a player or an NPC, which is kind of cool. Oh, neat, yeah. yeah. Did you spend a lot of time into making sure the, the NPCs kind of fight like people would fight? Oh yeah, it's, uh, well, that's uh, the, the AI design, it's a bit too long to go into depth here, <laughs> but uh, for sure it needs I'm to be, it. <laughs> it needs to be um, interesting to fight NPCs. Yeah, so they, absolutely. they get good reactions. Uh, if you faint, they're, they're actually, you know, you know going to try they and react. They react like right. a person yeah, would yeah, react, and that makes so. things so much more compelling. Much so. I just saw you kind of charge yourself with this red energy. Was that your, yeah. your power? That's, um, that's uh, items. So uh, here we only have one item, which is in the top, uh, bottom left corner, which is uh, a regen item. You use it with these, these little stones that are glowing in your back. And these are tension shards. They charge up with the adrenaline of combat, and Ooh. you can use that power to, uh, to use uh, items, uh, magical items, powers, and stuff. So. Wow. Very cool. And so here, we're um, countering the enemy. Oh, this enemy. guy's a badass. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> bigger. He hits pretty hard, and he's got a different style. And he's got a special ability, which allows him to avoid attacks, so you can either duck to avoid low attacks mm -hmm. or jump to avoid attacks. Or actually, the other way. <laughs> 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 you duck to avoid low attacks. Yeah, that that's shit. what I would do in the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, sorry. It's really cool. This what I was saying earlier, though. You have this. It just. It has this good cinematic feel to it. It's, the flow is there. Like when people dodge, you know, dodge and move. Uh, it's all smooth. It's the animation that they slow clap has done is outstanding. Yeah. And so here, we're actually going to see this. Um, this avoid from uh, up close, like, boom, he's avoided you. You see this mm. ghost appearing. And, uh, well, two against one. Friendly fire is on, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kick your friends in the neck. You can kick face. your friends in the neck. <laughs> exactly. I never, see, I never learned that as a kid. I didn't have many yeah. friends. And so I'm learning to counter different abilities of different exactly. types of enemies. And so here, you're walking around in the world, and you happen to encounter another player. And so you don't know what's going to happen, but tells me to come in, so, okay, it's a fight, that's fight, you know. <laughs> this guy obviously didn't see what you, we needed to the know. other guy. He was like, yeah, it's gonna be easy, it's fine, I got this. <laughs> but you can, you know, you can uh, trade, you can uh, make friends, you don't necessarily have to fight with other play mm -hmm. players you, you meet. And this guy didn't make the good decision, because yeah. it's two of us, it's two of us, it's only him. But, well, you know, he... Uh, Felt like attacking. People have so been there fine. before, St. Patrick's so Day. You know. He just used a shockwave, <laughs> and now he felt in danger, so he pulled the sword uh, to try and get so to oh, answer. Yeah. Ooh, and how do I parry a sword if I don't have one? Well, your parry is a kind of magical parry, so oh. you've got a magical We're still talking shield. fiction here, okay? Yeah. So. No, that's great. I can buy magical parry. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally exactly. into that. And I love that you know you're always surprised with what you know new abilities or new weapons or whatever. So you you think you know everything and then you are Certainly. hit in the face with a new foot or yeah. item. <laughs> so so what we what we're gonna go into here is you're discovering a few attacks here, and until now we've seen the basic combat and uh, to make it really fluid and accessible. But it's actually much deeper than that. And that what we're seeing here is our combat deck. So you've got four stances to choose from. So in real-time combat, oh. you can get into four stances. And depending on these, each of these stances, you've got a sequence of up to three attacks and an alternative attack. Mm -hmm. And so um, here in the top left sequence, we only have unlocked one attack in the sequence because with progression, you progressively unlock different slots. Mm -hmm. So you progressively discover attacks. And so That's here, awesome. for the moment, yeah. you have three attacks in the, your sequences, which, which is a jab, a cross punch, and a back fist. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that last attack in the sequence and replace my last oh. hit wow. by a front kick. There is so much to talk about in this game, and I feel like we could talk about it for, for hours and hours more, but unfortunately we only have about a minute. This is the exploration part of the, of the game where you, um, where you are in a, it's a small open world, it's the ruins of a fallen city in which um, you're seamlessly matchmaked with other players as you explore. This current demo here we're seeing, it's, a, it's the earliest part of the game, so it's a single player t tutorial, and so we won't see any social relationships in here. Okay. Um, so we've chosen a character with a specific combat style because in the game, 
you can you can have different combat styles that you learn as you progress. And um, so this character has this combat style which is uh, inspired by Kung Fu. And each combat style has a special ability. So this one, you can avoid enemy attacks. So here we see um, core um, real-time combat gameplay um, against, uh, against an NPC. So we wanted to make a combat system that's, one of our taglines was um, combat is a dance and movement is your weapon. So we oh, wanted cool. something that's really physical and strong and impactful. How many different, uh, uh, I guess I'd say martial arts styles, did you research and look into when you were putting this all together? Quite a few. In the game, we're going to have three main combat styles plus one secret one that you can unlock in the game, which we're not discussing uh, currently. OK. That's a, that's a little surprise we're keeping for, for later on. And um, that one just turns it into a first-person shooter, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the plan. <laughs> and um, and so as you're um, as you're exploring, you'll be you'll be fighting NPCs. You'll be um, basically discovering what you're doing. This what it means to become an absolver, which is your main objective. And uh, you'll come to question these objectives as you progress. Um, so you've got a really intricate combat system here uh, where yeah. you actually, there, there's some predetermination going on here where you have to decide outside of battle, you put things together, right? Exactly. The idea is that we wanted to let players build really their own unique play style. This is something that we're going to see um, a little further on in this demo. Um, just one thing we're going to see here is a core game mechanic, which we call flowing attacks. The idea is that you want to attack in the right timing to chain your attacks faster, to stun your enemy for longer. That's when you ah. see the character flashing gold. And so that means that even in the, in the full pressure of the action, you've got to stay focused. You've got to stay in the, in the right rhythm for, uh, to reach maximum efficiency. That's cool. It and feels so, almost like spiritual, for lack of a better word. Yeah, well, we're trying to have something that's you know, not like uh, bun mashy or frenetic, but we want it to be uh, a, a pace, which is still very intense, but you mustn't rush things. It must be uh, you know, in accordance with your movement and the flow of your movements. Cool. And uh, we just saw here the special ability of this character, which is the avoid. This is a quick tutorial that we're showing. And final thing is, you, you see these little two stones glowing in my back? It's, yeah. um, this is what we call tension shards. They fill up during combat. And they allow you to use special powers, special abilities, and, um, and to draw weapons uh, during combat. So weapons are like a temporary bonus that you can use um, when your tension shards are, are glowing. We're going to see weapons a bit further down the road. OK. Um, and so this, um, I'm not going to go too deep in the narrative of, uh, of the game, because it's, um, it's, uh, the story blends. Uh, single player and multiplayer, so uh, you can you know you can run through the game yeah. without being connected, but you'll be missing on the social. Uh, I'm sure that the gameplay feels right even in real network conditions. Cool. Yeah, this feel this combat system is just so different than anything I've ever seen before. You guys are really it feels like you're putting so much care into every frame of animation here. Oh yeah, this is. All the animations here are keyframed. We've got very talented animators in the team. And I think the least exper all of them have like extensive martial arts experience. Oh. And I think the one who did the least had, did like practice karate for like six or seven years. That's got to be a and really <laughs> small Venn diagram of yeah. skilled animators. Core combat. So which that's what we haven't discussed it yet. But the idea is when you're in combat, any time, you can change stances by holding R2 and moving okay. the right stick. So you've got four different stances to choose from. And depending on your stance, you've got one sequence of attack and an alternative attacks. And all these attacks can be customized in that interface, which we called the combat deck. So as you explore, as you meet people, as you fight other people, as you find mentors, you'll learn your attacks, which you can use in your combat deck. OK, so this and is a deck as in like a card deck. As a card deck, but you're basically between combats, you're preparing your strategy and the moves that you'll be able to use in real time combat. Huh. The idea is that one attack uh, can send you in a different stance. So when I'm building a sequence of attack, it can either loop on itself or send me in a different stance. Okay. And all the moves 
chain together really smoothly. So players basically build their own combat system. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is that eventually um, players have really have their unique uh, setup and combat style, huh. and uh, and you know this is um, this is what you're doing in combat. It's learning what moves your opponent are to be able to react and counterattack, etc. Huh. So is this kind of or the overall aesthetic? Well. We wanted to do um, something which was um, stylized, but still had realistic human proportions. And we thought that you know, it fits our gameplay, which is really about the essence of movement. So we didn't want to have too many things that distract you from that. Okay. But uh, while still you know, having um, enough details to, um, to have quite of a rich environment. And cool. so, this is why you know we've got realistic shapes, but stylized textures and animations are also a bit um, you know um, not exaggerated, but yeah, stylized I guess is for lack of a better word. So the idea is that as you to show uh, the character customization aspect oh, wow. of the game, so all your gear has impact on uh, on gameplay properties. So you've got weight ratios, uh, defense parameters, which uh, in turn impact. Um, how efficiently you're going to use the attacks that you've placed in your combat deck. Okay. And this is, for us, it's also important because this is what, what you'll be showing to others in game. And so if I choose a math like this one, which is maybe a bit aggressive, uh, and you meet me, uh, you're going to get a different impression. You're going your to tell yourself a different story about, OK, this is probably a bad dude. He's going to try to attack me. Is or there a mask that's just a big smiley face so I can be very welcoming to people? Oh, veins, flowing attacks. Uh, there's a disarm mechanic, so here I've just um, picked the weapon of my opponent to hit him with it. Oh, cool. Um, this was an avoid, avoid, which is one of the special abilities here. And this is the uh, match-made PvP that we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can fight players in the game, but if you want to do like a best of five actual game mode, you're going to want to go into a dedicated PvP game mode. Awesome. So we've got one versus one game modes, and we've got three versus three. Uh, more objective-based uh, game modes. Oh, cool. So you, you'll be wanting to you know, make friends in the game as you're exploring, build a team, and go into uh, dedicated PvP game modes with them.